This session is on importing alternates, locations, and WBS codes into the uh, Sage estimating system. And this is a two part, this is the second part. In the first part, we actually took a uh, um, content off of uh, Kansas's website of bid items and so forth, that everything was basically all jammed together. So we went through and built a spreadsheet to kind of help strip out data so we could have, you know, an item code separate from the description and things like that. So um, that's where we're gonna pick up from this point on. So. If you want to, please go back and refer to the first video on how we pulled some of this off. So this is kind of the information that we obtained from some websites. So we were able to copy and paste it in. And the problem with this data was the spec number, an item code, the unit of measure, the description was all jammed into one with some other stuff behind it. So in that session, we kind of talked about doing some mids and, and different commands to go through and come up with some data that I want to bring into Sage. So in my case, this is my cleaned up data that gives me some sort of a code and some sort of a description that I want to basically be able to bring those into a um, base bid or alternate or a bid item or a WBS code or a location, some value in my Sage estimating system. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize the, my Excel down. And that was the website that I, we obtained the information from. So I'm going to go back to this particular estimate here that is blank. So in this case, if I take a look at advanced alternates, I want to basically bring these in for alternates that I can break off. And, and you know, theoretically, you could do it as uh, bid items or whatever you want. I didn't have this set up ahead of time, so I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple things here. So I'm going to say include So here's my alternate list. So this is where I've got an option to import and export. So I can actually import from some other place. So alternates are a little different. So that way, that's where I can see the alternates. While you're doing your takeoff and using your default values, you know, this is where you had location and all your other codes. So I could have also, if I wanted to bring those codes into this bid item, I could right hand click in that cell, say select base option, which would bring up a list that I could go to edit and there again, I get to the same import so I can actually import it in. Now, this import, I got to be a little bit careful with because I could import it into the database. If I wanted to go off to the database, then I could say edit and import. And this, this would be my database list versus if I just import it back here, that would actually be just for this one estimate. So keep an eye up at the top there because that's going to tell you if you're bringing it in for the, just that one job or whether you bring it in as a something in your database that you can use many a times. So in this example here, if I go back and, and um, look at my alternates, you know, I can get there the exact same way for our alternates, or I could do it from, you know, the advanced alternate tab. So the first way to pull this off is I need to have an Excel spreadsheet to show me where I need to put my data. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit export. As a matter of fact, I'm going to create one here just to kind of show the different columns. So this is my name. And this is a description, let's say. And if I want to bring in unit, I could. Um, so maybe I could say this is going to be my unit or whatever the case is. So that way it just kind of gives me an idea of, you know, if there's a difference in names or what I call things, that way you can kind of put something in there, for example. So I'm going to hit export. It's going to come up with a particular uh, folder that it's going to export it to. That looks good to me. And that's going to export it out just to an Excel spreadsheet. So if I go ahead and say close here and actually go back and look at my Excel that's flashing at me, here was that spreadsheet that it just built where it's got my name, description, and the unit. So if I was to take that other spreadsheet that I've cleaned up, so let's say that I've got this spreadsheet here, and let's say that I've also got this one that I cleaned up in the first session there. I want to take information from this spreadsheet here to get it into the spreadsheet that Sage needs. So in this case, I'm going to say, well, I want to bring over all these spec numbers and I'm just going to copy and paste it over here. So I'm going to keep that all under that for my spec numbers and so forth. And it warned me that I was doing formulas. Uh, so it, it did it as value. So sometimes you might want to say paste special and um, make sure to paste it as a, uh, a value and things of that nature. So in this case here, I'm going to go ahead and say copy that and kind of the same type of thing there. So I'm just going to say paste. It's going to warn me that uh, 
you know, it doesn't have those formulas, so that's fine. So it'll just bring in the text. And maybe I want to go ahead and bring in the unit of measure then. So same type of thing. I'm going to drop it in the unit column over here. And this could be, you know, this spreadsheet's pretty small, uh, but, you know, that could be hundreds of items or, or a handful. So in this case, I've got all the different bid items that I wanted, uh, you know, set up as my alternates and things of that nature, all in this spreadsheet that was dumped out. So I'm going to go ahead and say save here. And I'm going to close down Excel so it's not in use. So now if I come back to import, it will allow me to tell it what I want to import. So it should default the same estimate as what it exported. So as soon as I hit OK, it's going to go through and try to read that spreadsheet, see if there's anything new. In this case, I found 17 records. So if I say close, now I notice that I've got that same list that I came up with all in Sage and ready to go. And I could come back here and delete out the one that maybe I didn't need there. And maybe I could come back and put some statuses of, you know, if these aren't included in the base bid yet or whatever I'm going to do if I was using alternates. But in this case now, now that I've got them in my list, I could actually select something and start doing takeoff and actually code things to that item. So, you know, there's a lot of times that people get a, a list of content from, you know, their clients, or maybe I got a list on an email of content, or I can get something off a website of some sort of coding structure that we'd like to group content by. That is a faster way of getting that in the system than having to type it in. And you could do that with any of the location, any of your WBS codes you had set up and um, alternates and so forth. And if that sounds kind of interesting, uh, please keep an eye out for one of the future videos that'll be coming out. We'll also be how to, it seems like we've got more clients that's requesting um, uniformat. So we're going to actually show how to go through and uh, take uniformat and clean it up and, um, you know, see what we can do with bringing it into the database and coding it. Thank you.